The following events are short examples of various uses that we have found for the SP2000 high-speed video. In the first event, you will see what effect a weak valve spring may have on the valve train. As you can see, the valve spring is out of control and is causing uncontrolled motion, high loading of the cam follower interface, and has aerated the lash adjuster. For this shot and various others, we are using a two-camera setup. In this case, the second camera is in the lower left portion of the screen. This is an example of the difference a good valve spring design will make in the valve train. In the next event, you will see what the effect of high loading of the cam follower interface can be. In this event, you see an overall shot of a valve spring that is out of control and causing high loading of the cam follower interface and has aerated the lash adjuster. The effects can be severe. This is a single camera close-up shot of a propagating crack in a cam follower. There are reticles on the SP2000 to enable the user to make accurate measurements once a scale is determined. This shot was done for the accessory drive group to help develop a serpentine accessory drive belt and automatic adjuster system for the 3.3 liter V6. They still have some work to do. The next shot is the same except slowed down even more using the slow motion playback feature on the SP2000. In this shot, if you watch the water pump pulley, which is the lower one on the right side, you will see the belt completely lose contact. The second camera insert is of the power steering pump with a clear plastic reservoir to observe fluid action.